Hello and welcome back guys to our channel. So on our previous video, we successfully created a basic Blazor project with the basic functionality of create, read, and update data on our SQL Server 2019. But unfortunately, on our delete function, it will just automatically delete the data whenever we click this delete button. So now we're going to add a model so that there will be a confirmation first before we're going to delete our data. So for our model, we're going to use a GitHub project which is called Blazard Model. So we just need to search on Google Blazard. So as you see, I already searched on it. So which is this one. So but we select it particularly this one, Blazard Model. Okay. So this uh, Blazard Model is a beautiful and customizable model implementation for Blazor application. It's free range, gluten free, and 100% JavaScript free. So, we're not going to use JavaScript here. So, it's just purely C Sharp and Blazor components. Okay, so we just need to follow the instruction on this GitHub README so that we can set up the Blazor model successfully. So, we just need to install the package first. So, we just this one Blazor model. Just copy this and go to our project. We need to install it in the client. Okay. So, tools, nugget, package manager, browse. Let's close this. Laser model. So, this one, click this one, and we want to install it in client only. Then, click install. Okay, so now it is set up. Let's close everything. Then go back to the GitHub. And next thing that they are asking us to do is to add this service, which is service add blazor model on our startup. Copy this and go to our project which is this one startup and then we will add it here in the configure services and then this one we just need to fix the error because we need to add uh, use blazard model okay so next thing we need to add this on our imports that razor so we just need to copy this and then go to the imports and then paste it there done the next one so add a model component in our main layout razor just copy this so here in our main layout we can just copy it on top just like that and then next one is we need to add the css for blazor model which is this one so we just need to copy it on our index.html so it's under dub the root index html and then just paste it here so just like that we successfully set up the blazor model and now we can use it on our project okay so now we since we already set up the blazor model so what we need to create first is a confirm delete uh, component so that we have a form from where we can set up the we can display the message for our confirmation and we have a button to confirm and uh, the delete or cancel the delete of the data so I just need to confirm delete so I just need to close this and then open again okay so we don't need this one so we need to inject I model service call it model so for blazor model instead of using the usual parameter that we used on our previous video so the one like this so here for the blazor model we cannot use this so we what we 
are going to use is the cascading parameter so just do this model parameters parameters and then get set so we need the message get set and then we need the yes text and then the no text and then we will do the protected override async task on parameter set async and then from here we will read or we will pass all the parameter the expected parameters to all of these properties so like for this one method is equals to parameters string and then let's copy this one message to have get here okay copy paste I just do this then we add the void confirm so this is the function for the confirm click so we just do the model close then once we close we need to do a model result okay pass a string with an empty format so from here once we click the confirm so we will just message on uh, notify the model or the calling component that we click okay or we close it with the confirm so otherwise we can create a cancel then we will do just model cancel so next thing that we need to do is the html element so just do div class confirm model so inside we need to create a div at message then here another div for our buttons so we just need to add class float right so it is right aligned then now we will create our button class button button we just use the outline Just call the confirm to at confirm confirm. Then the text will be the yes text. Just do no. Okay, so now we're done with the confirm delete component. So now we just need to call it using the model. So we will call it inside the index. So from where our delete function is already there. Okay, so now we just need to create a private void confirm delete. Then we will pass the long id so instead of calling the delete customer so we will call this one first and then inside this one we will create a modal parameters parameter 
ke new model parameters then parameters point add so our first parameter is message so what will be our message are you sure you want to delete this record next one is yes text so just add confirm then no text cancel then we will do the model okay so for the model we need to inject also here at inject i model service so next thing that we need to do is create a private async void model close so it should accept a parameter model result just put result then this one we will close it here model on close okay so next thing we now call the show so what will be the type it will be customer confirm delete so what will be the title confirm delete and then we will pass our either option but for this time we will pass the parameters okay so that's it so that's how we will call our confirm delete component using the model okay so next thing we need to do is since this long id we need to create a long customer id so zero then we will assign it here okay ID okay so next we will update the model close if result so if it's not cancelled so meaning it is okay so now we will do the await delete customer and then this customer id so we can pass the id coming from here and then we will do the model on close remove the event model close so another thing that we need to add is to force our component to update after the delete because it's something like it's not working without this so maybe let's let me show it to you first let's try the delete okay click customer so let's try to click this one so as you can see we have now a model click cancel so it will just close click refresh oops so why it is deleted yeah i know now because this one we also calling the confirm so it should be cancel let's try again copy paste problem again okay the customer so let's create a new one click delete cancel click refresh so it's not deleted so let's click delete confirm so this is the problem so as you can see our ui didn't refresh but once we click refresh the record is deleted so 
how we will fix this so on our index here after we call the delete customer so we'll just do the this state has changed so that we will force our component to refresh after we successfully deleted our data so now let's try again if this one will work customer click new let's type again create again okay now let's try to delete this one cancel first delete confirm so now it is working as expected okay so we have successfully completed our project so the last thing that we need to add is a validation so as you can see if we click new and then enter this one see there's an error because first name and last name is required on our database so we will do this on our next video so hopefully you have learned something from this and see you on our next video don't forget to share like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much bye